welcome guys to this MQL4 tutorial learn to code and uh, automate your trade in MetaTrader 4 this is uh, build trader I hope na matuto tayo some few skills so that you can use whether for an online job or para sa yung sariling trading account alright so ano yung pag-usapan natin today well structure ano ba itong structure basically uh, structure parang a set of elements wherein uh, you can combine according to your needs no? so by definition all of the elements can be combined using a structure according to your needs or to your purpose no? except for a void type for example if you want nga pikro ka ng data on trades created or trades executed from day one until whatever so gusto mong i-gather yun na data na yan and you want to do something of it you can use a structure to pick uh, a specific uh, data out of the trades that you made and then put in a structure so that you can focus on those uh, elements to have uh, some sort of analysis ba or whatever according to your purpose or okay so what we're going to do uh, basically we'll be talking about the declaration and ano siya i-declare sa yung code of course ano yung mga elements na nandun then the syntax important then we will go for some example and illustration let's get to our mql4 id right all right nandito na tayo sa ating metatrader form platform and we are ready to have our uh, discussion first we have to launch our development editor or uh, integrated development uh, environment it will be done by clicking this icon little icon here metacoach language editor or press f4 so ito yung ating meta editor or our integrated uh, development environment we'll make it easier kinode ko na yung necessary structure so basically to declare a structure, ganito yung ganyang syntax. A keyword, struct, then variable name. Alright? So, ito yung kanyang declaration. And then, along this open and close brackets, these are the elements of your structure data. Alright? So, in our example, gusto natin makuha yung trade information. I'm interested on the order ticket. Anong oras na open? Anong price ng open? Anong type ng order? Anong stop loss, profit, and then magkano yung unrealized profit and loss? Kasi gusto kong mamonitor yan. For example, yan yung intention ko. So, I have to create this structure. Before the proceed, remember that a syntax is you have to enclose your elements in the open and close bracket and each uh, declaration each element by a semicolon all right and of course after uh, uh, open and close parentheses brackets rather meron tayong uh, semicolon okay so now we're going to instantiate or at i think you declare yung uh, define na tayo ng ating uh, structure natin so so first the same sa pag define ng any variable like define ka ng date time variable then next is your variable name the same is true when you are going to declare or define a structure so you are going to state the name of the structure and then your variable name right so I can also have another uh, trade information then uh, reviews trade like that right or another one is uh, 
information at uh, pending trades, for example, and so on and so forth. Para ma-access natin din, it, kung ano yung na-define natin or ano yung data na meron siya, you are going to uh, set a special character na that after your variable. Okay, so, example below, ito. Okay, so, current trade, ito yung current trade, right? That order ticket equal to something, ano yung value niya. In this example, if there are open orders that is greater than zero, then we will walk through that order and then we're going to uh, pick up yung information ng order na yun. Alright? So, for example, uh, selected ang order and then pag successfully selected yung order, we will take the ticket number by issuing this function. We're going to take the time open then anong type ng order and then ano yung open price uh, kung may stop loss ano yung stop loss level kung, ano yung, kung mayroon siyang take profit ano naman yung take profit level or take profit price and then of course yung un unrealized profit yung floating profit and loss alright dahil ito yung kailangan ko ito yung need ko na ma-monitor uh, I intended na kunin for the particular trades kasi later on I'd like to monitor kung ilan na yung profit specific ticket number alright or specific order types I'm interested dun sa unrealized profits ng order types so later on I could say that for all buy orders, i-add up ko ang lahat ng unrealized profit and if something ma-achieve na yung particular goal, so for example, yung level like percentage of unrealized profit, I have to close all the all those, uh, orders uh, to see kung ano yung nag-gather na information ng ating structure or ano yung na-store na data, we will demonstrate it by using the comment kasi itong comment uh, basically it will display on the chart kung ano yung gusto mong i-display, so in this case we're going to display kung ano yung value nito by calling this okay, current trade and then order ticket so yung ano dito pag gusto natin i-display kung tingnan kung ano yung laman ng order ticket by this uh, particular assignment gusto kong gusto mong malaman kung ano yung value na ka-store for that particular uh, element is you're going to call in that uh, element by joining the structure name and the structure element with a decimal point or a period Right, so the same is true with here, current trade, daytime open, then current trade, order take it pro order take profit price, current trade, order stop loss price, current trade, order unrealized PNL. Right, so also before tamo proceed para makita natin sa chart kung ano nangyari na dito. Okay. Compile natin kung gagana itong uh, ginawa natin na EA. So we have compile. Okay, so meron dito window. So this makita dyan kung meron tayong error. Okay. Compile it. It's okay. Then punta tayo dun sa balik tayo dun sa ating MetaTrader 4. Then we're going to attach that EA. So it is the save here under this so and then it's structure pick mq4 i mq4 so we're going to attach the drag and dropping set one chart okay so that's it okay so balik mo tayo dito so dito sa comment uh if you uh 
have no idea ang nangyari is that we, we use a conditional statement if total open orders is greater than 0 then ito yung gagawin niya alright so ito yung ito yung kanyang under this open and close bracket ito yung may execute if total orders is greater than 0 or merong naka open order if wala naman else ito yung ang display dun sa comment okay that's why yan yung nangyari dyan no open trade so far okay so I will do gagawa tayo mag open tayo ng trade open trade like so for example buy market alright so as you can see merong open current trade order ticket is ito yung number 2505929 and then open on this particular date wala tayong take profit wala tayong profit ano uh, stop loss level and yung uh, realize profit loss is ito yung amount right so ina update yan siya every now and then pag may tick uh, update now it's say meron tayo gagawa tayo ng stop loss say here alright so yung stop loss price is updated to 1.2085 1.2085 then if you're going to have a take profit say for example in that particular level a take profit level will be yan so na update na, update na naman siya alright so that's it so suppose uh, dagdag tayo dyan sa ano dagdag tayo dyan sa dagdagan natin ang order type alright, so dito stop the surprise current trade at uh, order type trade <coughs> excuse me <coughs> order type okay so okay so control is compile so para makita natin ang result balik tayo dun sa order type is zero so that means it is a buy okay okay order type is zero is buy now if you're going to have uh, okay close so we're trying to sell okay so order type is one of this updated to stop this level All right then take profit Okay, so okay, that's how it is, guys, for a structure. And see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. Please like and share. Have a have a great day and happy trading.